South Africa has approximately 1,200 unit trust options. With so many options, it can, uh, it can be very daunting to choose the right one. This can be overwhelming to many South Africans, especially if they have a lack of knowledge of how unit trusts actually work. So, let's chat to Stephen Nathan. He's the CEO of Tenex Investments, and hopefully he can shed a little bit more light on the options that are available to us. Good to have you in studio. Welcome. Thanks. Nice to be here. All right. So, 1,200 unit trusts. Um, what, are, what do we use unit trusts for? I mean, the different types of unit trusts. Mm-hmm. Uh, give us a, I suppose, 101 lesson on mm-hmm. unit trusts. Mm-hmm. So, a unit trust is just a, it's a vehicle to save. Ultimately, what matters to you is what kind of portfolio am I investing in? So, it's really the portfolio and that portfolio can be housed in a unit trust or, for example, it could be housed in your pension fund or a retirement annuity. So you can get the same investment portfolio, just unit trust. People in South Africa save, uh, they use unit trusts for after-tax saving uh, and typically not for retirement. So retirement, they have a retirement fund okay. and a unit trust, if they've got other what we call discretionary or excess cash they want to save over and above their retirement savings, most South Africans would use a unit trust for that. So, I mean, give me an example. Would it be school fees? Would it be... An overseas holiday? Would it be uh, a house uh, savings? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, what are the type of savings that you find that people are sort of using unit trust for? Obviously, not retirement, but for yeah. something else. So, I think a lot of people are probably supplementing their retirement. They might say that uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm contributing something to my company pension fund, but I want to save more for my retirement, and I'm going to do that this way. They might be saving, say, for child's education. Okay. They might be saving for an overseas holiday, or deposit on a house, or just general, you know, general invest. Uh, for the long run and the big issue here is it's really about the long run because when you when you invest we talk more about investing than saving because investing is is a long-term activity and you're looking for the most growth so you know you want the biggest amount of money when you need it and that's really what we invest in unit trusts for when you talk long term what is the average? I mean, what are we looking at in terms of timing? Because retirement is different. Mm. Obviously, we know that it's going to be sitting there for years and years and years. But unit trust, long term, mm. what, what do you define long term as? Well, long term is anything more than five years. Okay. And the reason for that is that uh, if you have a shorter time horizon, then it's quite risky to put your money, let's say, in the stock market, all or a portion, because over shorter periods in five years, it's not that short, but uh, you can have a poor return in the stock market. Yeah. So there's a chance that uh, if you've got, let's say, two or three years, that you, know, you want to invest for a house deposit, an overseas holiday, let's say you put aside 50,000 Rand, there's a chance over two or three years that your 50,000 Rand m- might even be less than 50,000 Rand. Yeah. Now, therefore, you, you know, you're actually losing money or losing capital. But if your time horizon is five years and longer, then you know, you're most likely to grow that quite substantially. Risk? Is it very risky? I mean, let's just, you know, that's, yeah. that's obviously something that you've got to decide if you want a risky investment. Are unit trusts risky? You can't answer that uh, question just in isolation. So risk depends on your time horizon. So if I've got a 10-year time horizon, so I'm planning an overseas holiday or my child's going to university in 10 years' time, my objective is to maximize my unit trust in 10 years. And the risk is that I, I don't do that. I earn a poor return. The risk isn't that tomorrow the stock market has a bad run and you know you lose five or ten percent of your money. So most people look at risk as the short-term loss or what we call volatility, the ups and downs of the yeah. market. But that's completely wrong because if you invest on a short-term basis, so you don't want to invest for long-term growth, you don't want to ride out that short-term bumps, then you're going to have a lot less money in ten years' time. So. If you've got a time horizon of more than five years, then a high equity portfolio, so owning lots of shares, well diversified, is actually less risk. Why is it less risk? Because even when markets do poorly over five years and longer, you actually do better in a high equity portfolio than a so-called conservative or low equity fund. So risk really is driven by your time horizon. Unfortunately, we're very emotional, so we're listening to the market <laughs> indicators and you know, China's doing this and the US is doing that. And we tend to make short decisions, which mean that we actually suffer by missing out on the long-term growth opportunities. Fantastic. Well, listen, there's so much more I can ask you, but I think if people want to uh, get in touch with you or find out more information, how do we do that and, and sort of go about investing in your trust? So they can go on our website, 10 xcoza We have a lot of education material, but I definitely encourage people to empower themselves. You know, learn a little bit, invest some time to understand so you can get the best deal, you can get the best portfolio at the lowest cost, uh, because often it's very complex, as you said, 
over 1,200. In fact, it's more than 1,300. Wow. Uh, there aren't 1,300 different ways to invest. So you've got this very uh, fear-hungry industry, so you must look after your own interests. Fantastic. Thanks for talking to us here on the program. Uh, Stephen Nathan is the, the CEO of uh, 10X Investments and uh, talking to us about unit trusts and a nice way to save if you are looking at the long term, not necessarily retirement, but perhaps education, holiday fund, house fund, you name it. This could be the way to go. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this.